uh, very quick and easy digital collage on Photoshop. This is one where um, it's quick and easy because basically I'm starting to be lazy and or fortunate and I found all the images I'm going to use will be already cut out as a PNG or it's as its background. Now there's two, uh, I'm, I've got two different backgrounds to choose, of, see, choose from to see which works. So we've got either this wormhole image, see if that works, or this eclipse. So the first part of the image is here, this um, black and white clip art of the London Eye, which if you haven't visited, it's uh, it's worth visiting. It's I've been there and it's, it's not too bad. You can do it at least once. So I'll check on the image size of it. So it says uh, resolution 42, 72, but the height's pretty big. So what I'm going to do, I like to change it to 300, and then I'll just divide that by about, th uh, about three, just over three. So I'll have the width maybe be 25 centimeters. So it's made it a little bigger, but it still looks good. And now, right now, it's, it's just in... Um, it's just in uh, wide. Uh, it's in widescreen right now. It's in um, in landscape. So what I'm going to do? I want more room at the top. See if I need it. If not, I'll just uh, crop it. So I'll change the canvas size. I um, press that down button there, so it shows it's only going. The adjustment's only going up. And right now, I'll just have it to be thirty high. I can always crop it later. So I have that now. So behind the London eye part, I'm going to put this picture of an eyeball, of, well, the iris of an eyeball. So I'll just move that over and see how that looks. That's big enough. So that's good. So put that back up there in case I need it later. And let's see if it'll let me put it underneath behind it. That's good. So this is too big, so I shall alter the size. This is one of the one of the benefits of doing sometimes doing these things digitally. Now it's not quite the right shape, so I need to skew it a bit. So I'll transform and let's see what skew does. See if I can get the shape I want with that. So, I'll zoom in a bit as well. So, I'll know that I'm doing it right. And again, this is something you can only do in, do digitally. Unless you're incredibly clever. Well, so you'd have to pretty much do it digitally unless you could paint around things. Which I have had to before in the past or draw things. So, that's that done there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save my progress so far so I don't lose what I've already done because that's happened to me before I've we well, need a bit more skewing I've um, worked on something worked really hard I forgot to save and like something crashed or something and all my work has been for naught And as you can imagine, there's some very colourful language going on when that happened. Right, that's a bit better. That's better. Fill it up more. So again, save. So, let's see what we could do with this background, which background we can use. Let's see if either of them work. So, I've got the wormhole one. That's not, doesn't turn out very big. So, let's see about the size for that. This is a um, computer graphic of a wormhole. So, 
Right, so this is a bit smaller, so I say I bring it up to about 27 wide. So it can't be, be a little bit bigger than the 25 wide previously. Let's see how that is, how well this will work. Got to bring it behind the eye. There. Now, the idea is it'd be lovely if this wormhole was actually in the centre, wouldn't it? So. See if this is going to look good. So, I'm not exactly sure about that. Oh, I did start to have my doubts a little about that. So, this is why. Where is it? I also found this eclipse image. Let's see if that works instead. The eclipses always work with in eye images. They always go very, very well with that because of the shape of them. And there's also a fact that this, especially this one here, it really does have the, you know, the kind of coloration that you get with an iris. So I think this might be the one to go with because. You've also got the uh, you've got the uh, flare at the top, which will make things uh, also look very good. But I'm not going to skew this one. I'm just going to make it so that. the flat so that the lens is around it because if I skew it then I've just got a whole lot of other mess that I've got to worry about now <clears throat> so I'd have to worry about and then about this shape this shape around here and repainting it now I actually quite like this but let's see if I can I said I wouldn't skew it but I'll stretch it a little a little bit more around here like this so the eye picture the, uh, the bit of the London eye doesn't quite fit in perfectly around the edge with this but it's still um, I'm going to get rid of the wormhole. It still has a uh, ring of fire around it. So I'm actually quite liking this. So I'm going to keep this. But instead of like trying to repaint all around here, all the stuff around is really kind of redundant. So I'm going to crop it quite extensively. It really doesn't need to be that big. So I quite like that. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the bottom. So, send that to say like 27. We've got all this there. And I'm going to fill that in. Black. So you've got this whole massive swathe of darkness that will uh, that, uh, eventually, eventually with the vision, will come up, uh, come up to 
to light and um, to a spectacular display. The only problem with that is, is it being dark, is where to put my signature. So, because otherwise, as you can see, my signature, my digital signature I put on there, is black. But I have a trick for that. I shall just change the colour. I'll invert it. I'll still make it very small. So it's there, but it's relatively unobtrusive. Things are being that small, you end up hitting the wrong things. I'll just figure out where to put it. In fact, I won't put it right at the bottom because then I, it will kind of mess with your message. That I have going there, the illustration. In fact, I have a better idea. I show I shall make it black and white again. I shall extend the bottom again to. 28 centimeters, and there you go. And I shall color that in white, and that is where I will put my signature. Oops, I'm going to use the. Oops. That's wrong. So what I'm going to do with that, put that right at the bottom, and colour that in white. There you go. Got there eventually. Now I'll go back to the layer with the signature. And what I will do is I will put that in the bottom of the white. So. If I ever need to use it, <coughs> use this image, and I don't want the signature on there, it's it's not messing with what I've done. But it's there so people know it's mine. So if I send this like a magazine or something, I can then keep it with the signature, but if I want to use it for like a, a, a print or something, I very well may do. I may I mean to do that. I may have to do a bit of cropping. Um, I can then just, um, in fact, I'll do something with size now. Because I can think I can make this a bit bigger. So if I make that 21 centimeters wide. So this would be a little bit out, if I was to make this to be like an A4 poster, then sorry Americans, whatever it is in inches, I could have cropped the top and bottom off a bit, or just the top off a bit, and uh, make it for that poster size. So, I will then now flatten the images, flatten the layers, and now, I shall save it. Now, uh, here's a hard part. This is one of the also one of the advantages and disadvantages to doing digital is you know you have to, if you have to save it, it kind of forces you to come up with a title there and then. And I am terrible at coming up with titles, so so this is a JPEG. There's no need for it to be a PNG because it hasn't got a um, it hasn't got a coat there, uh, blank background, so I'll just call it the eye right now. If I can, if I um, come up with a better title later on, I shall uh, update it then. So, 
see if you like uh, see I'll see if you like that. I'm actually quite happy with that. Um, if without a bit more skilled, I would probably um, make um, um, it would probably skew this around to be a ring of fire around the uh, around the wheel of uh, the eye, or I would find a better picture of the lunar eye, which is face on. But that's something I could easily do again anyway. So let me see what you think about that. See if you like it, and as always, like, share, subscribe, and um, have a look in the description. You have my link tree, which has uh, links to all my socials and my merch stores, especially with Christmas coming up. You can also buy the you could buy the Art Pirate book. Well, there's a link to it, a link to that in there, and also there's a link to my uh, Patreon, so where you can get all kinds of um, perks. Um, with each tier, you could have you know, with two of them. You could have different varying sizes of uh, of an in, of a original collage by me that I'll send out to you. So have a look at all that, and I shall see you soon. Okay. Goodbye.